And I think it was, like it shows a before and after the promotion of this country. I think it was a very well done campaign. It got a lot of attraction worldwide. It got more like, in terms of impact, around 660 million people saw it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we decided to broadcast in the Super Bowl was first because we analyzed that the US is one of our main markets because it because of the quality of the expenditures of the travelers, because it, it currently, and particularly this year, the economy in the US is gonna be very strong, the dollar is appreciating. We have very good connectivity with the US, around 70 flights per week. Mm -hmm. And so we saw important to give a very powerful sign of what Ecuador was doing. And I think the adding the Super Bowl shows what the country wants and that it's playing in the big leagues. I think it was a very big, signaling action of what is it, um, what tourism means for the country and what are we willing to do in that sector. And we're very happy with the results. Currently we just have the results in terms of impact. So around 66 million people saw it in TV mm -hmm. and another 67 million people saw it in social media. So a total of 133 million in around I think week. many things. First, we have the Galapagos Islands. That is something unique in the country. And perhaps was one of the things that people knew the most about Ecuador. Yeah. And currently our main challenge is to show in that Ecuador is much more than Galapagos. Ecuador beyond Galapagos. And I think the advantage that Ecuador has is that it is a very small surface that has four different regions. But because it is so small, you can actually experience those four worlds. So for example, you can literally like have breakfast in the Amazon, have lunch under a volcano in the Andes, and then have dinner in front of the sea, and then take a plane to the Galapagos in just one day, yeah. just to show you how small it is. So I think that diversity that comes with the natural regions that we have, that it's tied to gastronomy, um, culture and different like uh, attractiveness that you find along the way and I think that is something that we have to offer because you have it all in just one place. I think something important that happened is that for this government it recognized the importance that tourists has for the economy of the country mm -hmm. in terms of socioeconomic development, the number of jobs it generates, the value chain of tourists. So there are a lot of opportunities and I think First, it is always easier to go into a country where the government is supporting and so you are not doing alone. Mm -hmm. For example, in the Ministry of Tourism, we have a department, the Undersecretary of Investment, which only role is like to go hand in hand with the investors. So I always like to see that I don't see investors as, as something like far away from us. I prefer to see them as long-term partners because that's what we are. they are for us. And so helping them to do you know all the paperwork you need beforehand just to go around the country and show them the, uh, the places where there is potential uh, all the opportunities there are and so I think that is something important that has been uh, happening in Ecuador that was not happening before in terms of potential of the sector the currently Ecuador last year for example grew the number of visitors in 14 percent mm -hmm. that is almost three times faster than the than the world rate and as I told you, tourism has been like getting this attractiveness and it's a central part in the transformation towards an unknown economy for the country. So one of the things that we have seen is a very important increase in the number of tourists, but also in the, uh, an increase in the supply of hotels. Many different opportunities in the sense that Ecuador is the first, now is the number one des destination for retirees, is the number one place to live for expats. And so it is a lot of opportunities, not only for tourists, but that people that would like to come to Ecuador. So we are seeing a lot of foreign investment, for example, for retirees in the coast, along the, along the coast, also in the Andes, in the Amazon. Only between last year and this year, we're expecting around $600 million in investment, just on like kind of first stones of much bigger projects to develop in the next 10 or 15 yeah. years. So I think one important uh, thing about Ecuador is that if you see in terms of potential, mm -hmm. like in, if you rank the world, Ecuador is among the top 25 in terms of natural and cultural resources. So that is kind of like the potential we have, but it's also a challenge in the sense that those are resources that you have to preserve. Uh -huh. So that is already like a, 
a constraint that we cannot be a country of volume like Dominican Republic is, for example. And so we saw that tourism has to be a long-term business. We are not thinking about this generation. Yeah. We are thinking for the long run. So that implies how to make it sustainable in the long run by preserving our natural and cultural resources. So if you would have like a, if you would have mapped like, and in the X you have the quality of the expenditures, and in Y you have the number of visitors, we will be growing kind of like 45 degrees. We do want to increase the number of tourists, of course, but for us it's also very important to increase the quality of the expenditure of those tourists. Because at the end our objective is to increase the income for the country, yeah. to generate more jobs. And so we found important first to let them stay longer, to persuade them to stay longer, which means creating new products, new attractions, give them reasons to stay. And one thing important that we're doing is trying to connect the different regions. And just another aside note, is that this country has invested around 8 billion in roads. So that means that the internal connectivity of the country is really high. Mm -hmm. We invested in around 14 airports in a, in a really like, small country. So it's very easy to travel around the Ecuador and that is one of the things we want to take advantage of, to make them stay longer. And the other is to make them spend more. And so then, for example, the quality of the services and the infrastructure you have is very important because other, if you have only a total of $40, it doesn't matter if they want to spend $500. They can't because yeah. that is not the supply you have. So then is where the opportunity for investors in like new hotels of better quality of services comes because that is the transition we're trying to do to increase the quality of the services so that we can increase the quality of the expenditures of our tourists.